What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei. So I've gotten a couple comments on how I'm setting up the declared dividend email alerts. And so I thought it was the perfect time to actually write this tutorial for you guys. It's super easy to set up. So if you guys are interested, continue watching and then you'll have a email with all these declared dividends from your portfolio coming in. So let me show you guys real quick on what we're trying to achieve for anybody that's new and that doesn't um, know about the email alerts. So I have my email account pulled up and on the left right here we have a label called stocks. And so underneath that we have uh, something called dividend increases. When I click on this you'll see that there's a couple emails and they're all about my portfolio stocks that I own. And uh, these are just declared dividends that the company is um, declaring, which will have a link. So if we pull these up, so like the latest one right here, which is Costco that I haven't opened up, it said increases dividend by 8%. So if we click on this, click on the readme, it'll take you out to uh, Seeking Alpha. And so see here, it tells you that Costco declares 70 cents uh, quarterly. And that we're, we just got a 7.7% increase from the prior 65 cents. And so they will be paying out May 15th. And then the ex dividend date is April 30th. So this is really cool because, you know, you just get these dividend increases emails. And then you can just go check. And uh, it just makes life a lot easier. You know, just keeping track of a lot of stocks, you know, it just helps out. And it's uh, really cool seeing these emails coming in. But anyways, guys, if you guys are interested in actually learning how to do this, this is the video for you. It's a couple steps, super easy. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step, guys, is to open up a tab with uh, google.com. In the search bar, you just type in Seeking Alpha. Click Enter. You should pull up with the first link, so SeekingAlpha.com. Click on that. And then this should pull up this uh, site here. On the top right, you're going to see something that's called uh, sign in. And you're not going to have an account. So you're going to want to fill out this information for join. It's completely free. Uh, you'll choose a username, uh, email account, password, and then click join. I believe that's it that you do. And then you'll get an email for verification but go ahead and set that up and uh, let's jump over to when you're actually signed into the account so once you're signed in you should see this uh, my portfolio whenever you click on that you should see a button here that says create portfolio so this is our first step we're gonna actually create the portfolio that we have in our m1 finance um, portfolio click on this Type in the name that you want. So for us is M1, it's easy money. And then you're gonna click create button. And then uh, you're gonna type in the ticker symbols that you care about. So in our case, let's just say Disney, we care about that. And then uh, get separated by a comma. So let's say we care about AT&T. We care about um, Visa. And let's just click done, right? Right now, these are the ones that we care about. Let's say that we forgot to, um, we forgot a couple other stocks. So you just click add symbols and a pop-up will show up. So you'll just type in the new ticker symbol that you want to add to the portfolio. So we're adding reality income and you just click, you continue adding more. So, you know, in your case, you'd probably have a lot more stocks. So go ahead and fill it all out and then get your portfolio ready click done and then you'll see the new tickers show up and the final step to do here is that we want to make sure to go over here to the manage alerts and we want to double check that the emails are checked which they're not so we check it everything will get uh we'll start getting emails from uh, seeking alpha for all these tickers let's say that we just didn't care about reality income to get emails from that you can just go here and uncheck it and then you won't get emails from that but we care about all of them uh, one thing to note here is that for you guys, you probably won't have any emails from Seeking Alpha right now. You'll have to wait a, a day or two. And uh, for my testing that you'll see with uh, in the couple next steps that are coming up, you'll see that we are able to filter some of these uh, Seeking Alpha emails. In your case, you'll just set up these uh, final steps and then you'll just wait for those emails to start coming in. So uh, let's head over to the Gmail account so we can wrap up everything with the final steps. 
All right, guys, so we're here at the Gmail account. You'll see that on over here on the labels, I deleted the labels that I showed you guys earlier at the beginning of the video. And so that's because I'm gonna walk you guys step by step. So the first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna create those three labels that I showed you at the very beginning. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you'll see at the top right, you'll see a gear icon for the settings, click settings. And then from here, you're gonna click on the tab called labels and then scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see a button called create new label click on that we're going to create the reason why I'm creating three labels is because I want to create two labels under one basically nested under one label just I like that order you don't have to create three labels you can just create two labels and it's fine but it's your preference and uh, from there we're gonna type in uh, stocks for the first one click uh, create and then we're gonna create another label and then this one we're going to call it declared dividends and then we're going to that's going to be nested under that first uh, label that we just created so it's called stocks click create and then you'll see it underneath here so you'll see the stocks label and then you'll see this one underneath that also up here you'll see that these are now showing up uh, we'll, we'll need one more so uh, with seeking alpha you'll get these extra emails with like new articles and like breaking news of the ticker symbols that you that your portfolio has so we want to basically filter out those to another label which is the one we're about to create and maybe we'll just call this to call ticker updates and then from here this is also going to be nested under the stocks one you can click create and then you'll see the three labels up here or down here as well so at that point we have our labels ready but we want to create a filter so that you know these emails fall into these labels so the first one we're going to do is let's go ahead and do the one for uh, the declared or raises or increased dividends so the easiest way that you just do this you just go to the very top and click on the search bar and then you'll have to type in these following commands which i'll leave the full commands in the description below so uh, you don't have to pause the video or anything like that so uh, let me type these in real quick And then uh, you'll click enter and then you'll see that all these emails got filtered out one quick thing that I do want to mention is that since I have all these seeking alpha emails already that's why I'm able to test this and uh, from there you'll see that there's no labels attached to any of these emails uh, so you will click on the down arrow uh, from here you're just going to make sure that the search is all emails so let's say that you already have seeking alpha you just didn't have these filters set up you just make sure you have the all email and then from there you're going to click create filter and then you're going to want to say skip the inbox and then from here you're going to want to select the label that you want so this is our declared dividends so we're going to select the stocks declared dividends click on that and then you're going to want to apply this so click on that and then you're going to say create filter and then you're going to see up here that the declared dividends are now filtered out so if we hover over this and click on it you'll see that now it's filtered out we have only the declared or dividend increase or raises uh, and this uh, label so if we move away from it you'll see that they're gone we can go back to this label so the last thing here is that we need to filter out everything else about seeking alpha that you know we don't care about to really see so the way that you do this is you're going to go up to the search bar again uh, clear it and you're gonna to want to type this command in uh, again I'll have this in the description below so you can just copy and paste so let me go ahead and type it in real quick okay so the filters ready you should click enter and then you're going to see all these emails, all these articles from Seeking Alpha. And uh, from there, you'll see that all of these will get filtered down. So you click on the down arrow and we're going to create this uh, filter. So make sure that the search is all mail. Click create filter. And at this point, we're going to skip the inbox and we're going to click the label that we care about. So the, for us, it's going to be just the ticker updates. 
And basically anything else that's not declared or dividend increases, it'll just drop it in here. And from there, we're going to click also apply filter to matching conversations. I'm going to click create filter. And then everything should go ahead and go. And then if we click on the ticker here, you'll see that now we have everything populated. So isn't that pretty cool, guys? If we go over here, you'll see these. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is if you click on the, let's say for declared dividends, click on this, you'll see that now it's got the stocks declared dividends label. If we go over here to ticker updates, let's say JP Morgan, you'll see that it's uh, labeled with the ticker updates. So yeah, guys, that's about it on how I created the email alerts. It's super easy. If you guys have any questions, any problems that you guys run into, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys find this very useful. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification. It uh, means a lot to me. And uh, from there, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps out a lot. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the weekly portfolio update. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.